Welcome back to this session of first aid. In the earlier session, we discussed uh, first aid surveys, and this is the continuation of the first aid session. This is what we call the first aid ABC. First aid is has is has ABC, the ABC of the alphabet. But in this context, we mean A, airway, B, breathing, and C, what we call saturation. And in this context, we shall be calling it the cardiopulmonary resuscitation because we need to emphasize on it. In any situation, you must apply the DRS ABCD action plan. This is very, very important. And this one we have already discussed about it. We talked about danger. We talked about response. We talked about sending for help. You call people to come and help you. We talked about the airway, you remember? And we talked about the breathing. And during the breathing, there are some things that you need to check. Like in airway, in breathing, you must check for breathing by looking for the chest movements, the chest moving up and down. You need to listen by putting your ear near to their mouth and the nose of the casualty to, to feel whether somebody is breathing. You must feel for breathing by putting your hand on the chest, especially in the lower part of the chest. Saturation, you look for the signs of bleeding. You look around, is there blood? If there is blood, where is the blood coming from? And then you also need to feel for the pulse of the casualty, whether it is there or it is not there. Is it strong, is it weak, or is it moderate? That is very, very important. This is a reminder in the ABC on the primary survey because this is where the uh, ABC checking happens for the first time, first time and then in depth during secondary survey. Maybe we need to remind ourselves with this diagram for the ABC checkup. Airway. Is the casualty's airway open and clear? Make sure that they open the mouth and you see that there is there are no stones, there are no grass, and there is nothing in the mouth of the casualty. If yes, then check the breathing. If no, remove them. If no, Check whether somebody can talk to you. If you cannot talk to you, for example, it could be suffocation or somebody is choking they, and it's causing the airway to be blocked. Please, in such circumstances, intervene. Open the airway and help the person immediately. You shall be seeing what you do in different scenarios. Or if the casualty is unconscious, then you do what we call uh, CPR. You tilt the head. And lift the chin to the to open the airway of that patient and when the airway is open and clear then breathing can start however if the airway on the other hand was clear what do you do you go to breathing breathing you find out is the correct breathing normally you look you listen and feel for the breath as we saw if they are not there then you treat uh, this casualty immediately by starting what we call CPR. Saturation, is there bleeding? If it is there, is it severe? Is it moderate? Is it strong? So, we have talked a lot about CPR. What is CPR? CPR is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's a recovery of the cardiopulmonary. Cardio means the heart, and pulmonary means the lungs. How do you recover them? One. If the adult is unconscious and not breathing, make sure they are flat on their back and then place the heel of one hand. This is what we call the heel. The heel of one hand in the center of the chest and your other hand on top. Press it down firmly and smoothly, compressing to one third of the chest depth 30 times, then give the two breath. To get the breath in, tilt their head back gently by lifting their chin. Pinch their nostrils closed, place your open mouth firmly over their open mouth and blow firmly into the mouth. When you're doing this one to avoid infections, it would be better. For those who have kids, it's easier because for the kids, cater for that. But if you had not worked with a kid and it was an impromptu that has just happened on your farms or some outside of the farm, then you can use your handkerchief by placing on the mouth of the casualty and then you give the breath of life what we call the kiss of life you keep going with 30 compressions and two breaths at the speed of approximately five repeats in two minutes 
until further help comes in from the professionals who are the health care workers. But as you do all that, you need to understand and to know the vital signs. Because if you don't know the vital signs, then it will be very difficult for you to deliver first aid to anybody.